Thai to those who are celebrating Happy Thai Kusum and of course we celebrate all, all festivals because we also enjoy the holidays, right? So happy holidays to all of you. Ivanka. So Ivanka has also written this beautiful and very powerful speech in our program called Public Speaking Mastery. It's a six weeks program. And we always think that, can they really write in six weeks? And yes, they can. Let her prove it. Not only can she present, she wrote this beautiful speech all by herself. Ladies and gentlemen, Ivanka, with the speech, there is no elevator to success. You got to take the steps. Ladies and gentlemen, Ivanka. Everyone pictures success in different ways. Some of us visualize ourselves achieving goals such as excelling in studies, getting a dream job, or acquiring a luxurious car or a mansion. But how do we accomplish these desires of ours? Hi, Ivanka here. I'm 11 years old. Some choose shortcuts in achieving success, whereas others look for the road less traveled, the long road to achieve it. Before you jump onto the latest fat elevator, promising you a smooth ride straight to the top, Allow me to explain why you should take the steps. For most of us, things don't just happen overnight. No matter how much luck or fortune you may have, if you want to succeed, you must put in your effort. It is not an easy part to go. More often than not, you may not be able to skip steps or take shortcuts. When I say J.K. Browning or Oprah Winfrey, or Milton S. Hershey, you may easily recognize these people because of their fame of successes. These people did not take any shortcuts to their success. They struggled and worked hard for their successes. Oprah Winfrey, known as the Queen of Media, yet at one point, she couldn't have imagined her current level of success. She was hired as a, she was hired as a co-host when she was younger. Unfortunately, the show did not do so well. It was a huge flop. She was eventually fired. However, Oprah did not let being fired prevent her from doing what she loved. She took some time to consider what went wrong and what she wanted in the future. This led her to take a job at a show not many people watch. She saw this as an opportunity to keep doing what she enjoyed. The show launched her career and helped her become the famous, well-known icon she is today. Here's my story. Since I was three, I attended Mandarin speaking lessons. Now this was challenging since Mandarin is not my mother tongue. But I never gave up and I worked hard. Now I sort of mastered it. I participated in Mandarin speaking competitions and Mandarin public speaking speeches. The elevator only teaches you on how to use a button, which puts a restriction on your ability to use it. The elevator determines your route and places a cap on the number of passengers who can join you at any floor. If your only interest is getting there, then sure, the elevator might appeal to you. Unfortunately, the, the lessons learned using the elevator are less or sometimes none. Working hard, learning new skills are worth it if you want to get what you desire. You will discover that you go far further than you envision if you let the actions you take be the success you want. So my dear audiences, there's no such thing as elevator to success. You must use the steps. Success, victory, will lead to great things with effort. Thank you. Fantastic! Ladies and gentlemen, our wise you should listen to her. There is no elevator to success. There's no shortcut to success. You've got to take those steps. So in, in Johan Speaking Academy, our program for the teens, we have many programs for teens and also for the kids. So in the teens program, we focus on not only speaking, but on writing. So people like Ivanka, we just tell them, all my instruction to her is, find a quote, an inspiring quote, and just write on it. And they did. They produced beautiful speeches like what she has just presented, what Moki has presented, and what Archeray has presented as a team. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give her another round of applause. 